Elizabeth is excited about her violin lesson every week because Kristen, her teacher, uses one-take videos and reflection to enhance the learning experience. Similar to traditional music lessons, Kristen and Elizabeth begin by discussing and agreeing upon the learning goals. They decide upon two, which ultimately means that Elizabeth will leave the lesson with two videos that demonstrate either progress or mastery of skills. The first goal is for Elizabeth to perform a song called Two Grenadiers. She has been working on this piece for a few weeks and is ready to move on to the next. Before that can happen, she needs to demonstrate mastery by performing, recording, and reflecting on a completed version of the piece. When she is ready, she steps in front of the camera, in this case a cell phone, and Kristen hits record. Please start again. Yes. A few takes may be necessary in order for the student to feel confident about delivering their best performance. Once Elizabeth finishes playing the song, Kristen hits stop and they gather around the camera to review and reflect. And I want you to tell me what you think you did well and what you think we might be able to work on. After watching the video, Kristen and Elizabeth have a discussion about the performance, focusing on what was good and what can be improved moving forward. If they agree that the video demonstrates mastery of the first goal, they move on to the second. The second goal also involves recording and reflecting. In this case, Kristen models how she would like Elizabeth to keep her elbow under the violin while playing. After working on the position for a few minutes, and when Elizabeth indicates she is ready, she steps in front of the camera to demonstrate progress. She plays a section of a new song using the correct position. Once she completes the section, they gather around the camera once again to review and reflect. When the video is over, they have a discussion about how Elizabeth did with the position. If they agree that the video demonstrates progress, they can move on. With both goals met and both videos created, the lesson comes to an end with Kristen telling Elizabeth what she would like her to work on in preparation for next week. As Elizabeth gathers her materials and packs up her violin, Kristen uploads the two videos to a playlist so Elizabeth will be able to review and reflect on her performances even after the lesson is over, making her progress and mastery completely transparent. Using this method of one-take video with reflection throughout each lesson can create an engaging and rigorous learning experience for every student and can be used by any teacher starting tomorrow. When I'm teaching my students, I can tell them lots of things, but when they can see it in a video of themselves, it's a very powerful learning tool. I like the videos because I can share with other people and show what I've learned.